John Edmund Stone. John Edmund Stone was a black man who was able to use his knowledge to directly affect scientists who had a huge influence on the Western world. Little is known about him as a man or his personal life, but we do have information about his professional life. Professionally, he was able to leave a legacy most former slaves wouldn't imagine. A Scottish politician named Charles Edmund Stone owned a plantation in Demirara, Guyana. The plantation was said to be John Edmund Stone's place of birth. While living on the plantation, John Edmund Stone befriended Charles Edmund Stone's son-in-law, Charles Waterton. The two shared a love of nature. Charles Waterton was knowledgeable about the plants and animals of the rainforest. He used his knowledge to capture and expertly preserve the bodies of various birds. Because of the humid conditions of the rainforest, Charles Waterton quickly prepared and beautifully preserved the birds he captured. John Edmund Stone was intrigued and spent as much time as he could learning about the Amazon rainforest and an expert form of taxidermy. John Edmund Stone received a first-hand education about the plants and animals of Guyana, but he also gained an understanding of the science of biology that would later help him in life. Around the year 1817, Charles and John Edmund Stone traveled to Scotland. Their visit was after the passing of the 1807 Slave Trade Act, banning slavery throughout the United Kingdom. John Edmund Stone was able to take advantage of the passing of the Slave Trade Act and gained his freedom. Shortly after becoming a free man, John moved to Edinburgh, Scotland, finding a residence close to the University of Edinburgh at 37 Lothian Street. He began working at a local museum as a taxidermist. He also began teaching the art of taxidermy at the University of Edinburgh. John was a successful teacher and taxidermist. He was known for preserving various animals from various places across the world. He preserved a 15 foot long boa constrictor that gained a lot of attention from his peers and students. John Edmund Stone is widely known within the world of biology and taxidermy as the mentor of Charles Darwin. Darwin began learning from John Edmund Stone at the age of 17. He eventually hired John to teach him taxidermy, paying him the equivalent of $160 a week. John had an enormous influence on Darwin even helping to influence his professional decision to become a naturalist, geologist, and biologist. Unfortunately, we don't know much about the birth or death of John Edmund Stone. The majority of what we do know about him come from Darwin's memoirs. But from the information we have, we can see how brilliant and iconic John was. He was fortunate enough to be able to learn as a slave. He was able to earn his freedom via traveling to Scotland where slavery was abolished. He then used the information he learned about biology and taxidermy to earn a living as a professor and taxidermist at the local museum. Stories like these need to be told so we can see the continuous perseverance of our ancestors, as well as how they were able to influence the industries that would shape the Western world. Mr. John Edmund Stone, we're proud. Stand on your shoulders. For more information, please visit www.ontheshoulders1 Dot com. And you can support On The Shoulders of Giants on Patreon at patreon.com backslash O-T-S-O-G.